Hi, I'm Hazel. It is almost Saturday, so it's time for a new vlog. I am officially... What you doing up there? Please don't knock over Zebra Hex. I'm pretty sure the Zebra's already missing like a finger, so I'm not going to be too worried about it. Um, I am officially starting to get really antsy for 725. Um, I spent a bunch of time going over all of the stuff that they've announced for it so far, and like putting it all in one place got me really, really excited about it. So I want it, and it's soon, but it's not soon enough. I gotta be patient. We definitely still have a ways to go. Like I've said in the past, my prediction is solidly mid-June, probably second or third week of June, um, along with Tumas Argaris. If I had to like guess, I would say 725 the second week of June, and then the third week of June might be the tomb opening, but I just pulled that out of the air. Um, and have no actual information, so who knows. Um, 725 related, there has been an update on the whole Mythic Plus changes thing. So my biggest concern with the changes that are coming to Mythic Plus in 725 is the, um, the overall nerf in loot quantity. Um, basically, as it was announced originally, the most loot you would be able to get from a Mythic Plus run would be three pieces of loot to split between five people in personal loot, or two if you did not make the timer. Um, they have clarified that or updated, and they have said that for every keystone level above 15, you will have an increasing chance for the final chest to contain additional loot. This chance scales linearly, will roll past 100%, and, and accumulates pretty quickly. So at a keystone level 20, you will be guaranteed four pieces of loot or a fifth if you beat the timer. So that is much better. Now, 20 is like really high, but maybe in tomb gear with the power creep from our artifact weapons, we'll actually be able to do 20s without wanting to pull our hair out. I'm happy with that. That pretty much solves all the issues that I had with the mythic plus changes coming in 725. So I think I'm probably gonna be running a lot more of them after the patch hits. What you doing? I've never known a cat that didn't really like being on the tallest thing they can possibly find. It's not surprising they get themselves into trees. Uh, what else happened this week? The, um, the armory updated. They completely redid the layout of the armory. I don't really know if anybody was asking for it, but it's been done anyways. Um, they, it includes most of the features that we saw, and then they've kind of redone the design of it, but it is missing some stuff that it used to be able to do, and there's no word on whether or not they're going to be adding some of those things later, or if they're just gone. So things that are changed, basically. Um, you can no longer search for or filter um, pets or mounts, which is kind of annoying for me because something I do as, far, as part of the Patreon giveaway is I armory the winner, search the pets that they don't have, filter them to the ones that I can get for them, and then pick one that they don't already have. So I can no longer do that in the armory. Same thing with mounts. You can no longer search or filter the mounts that somebody has. All of the professions data is gone, and the arena win and loss counts are also gone. Uh, you can't see the current title that character is displaying, which is less tragic, but I like showing off my insane title. And then the, um, the thing that really... Cat. See, I told you not to knock off Zabra. Well, that's probably going to keep the cat from going so for another week or so. <laughs> Poor dude. He's fine. Oh, he only had three fingers to begin with. And then the last thing is recent activity is gone. And that's kind of annoying because that is the only way that I was tracking um, when my legendaries were dropping. If any of you know of a tool that basically tracks on a calendar when you got your legendaries, that would be really cool because I don't know where to get that information anymore. Um, even when it, the armory did have recent activity, it didn't scroll all the way back. So I just, I just want to see a calendar with little pings on it when I got my stuff so I can track how the different amounts of stuff I'm doing is actually paying off in terms of legendaries. I really wish that was a thing. Maybe it is. Um, and if, if it is and you know of it, please tell me. Um, <laughs> So yeah, the armory is different. Um, if you are in a boat like me and you miss some of the old features, um, don't fear. Wowhead has a profiler tool. So I think it's just wowhead.com slash profile. I'm pretty sure that's it. Basically that can look up a character's armory as well. And that one has filterable pet and mount lists. So I'm not completely doomed when it comes to picking out new battle pets for people. So that's good. In my personal week in WoW, I got my 52nd trait. Um, so I officially have Concordance of Legion Fall, and it's, uh, if you're behind, don't worry, because it is a lot less earth shattering than one might think. Uh, I have to really, really look for the buff to find it, and uh, it doesn't, I don't notice an impact on my meters at all. And maybe that's just because I just have the first point, and as I get more points in the weapon, the trait will like, like the proc gets bigger. It doesn't proc more often, but the amount of intellect or whatever you get is larger with more points into that trait. 
So maybe later it'll make a big difference, but for right now, it's pretty much just a marker in my life to tell me that you should probably stop grinding AP now. <laughs> so I'm going to retire from AP at least until um, Artifact Knowledge 50. Um, I'm not going to be clearing my whole map of Artifact Power Quests. I'm pretty much just going to kind of limit my Priest to content that I want to do, and then content that has chances to give me Legendaries until I've mopped up the last two that I need. So I'm definitely chilling out a little bit in the AP grind now that I hit 52. Um, it was a little underwhelming, but hey, I'm done, and that's kind of cool. So now that I have a little bit of extra time on my priest, I've been spending a little bit more time um, filling up my pet collection, trying to catch up, as well as um, transmog. I'm actually really excited about running all of my transmog raids every week all of a sudden. Like, it's like sometimes I get pets I can sell, sometimes I get green stuff that I can sell, I always get vendor trash I can sell, plus I set myself up with auto vendor that automatically vendors soulbound items below a certain item level, which is a godsend. And occasionally I get those transmog appearances I need it and uh, filling out my set, so that's been really fun. As far as pet collecting goes, I've been focusing, and I think I talked about this last week, but I've been focusing on leveling alts. Uh, my current focus is on my monk and my warlock. Um, I'm, I'm back burnering the Death Knight for now. I just want to see his beautiful face on my loading screen. I don't feel the need to play him just yet. But I'm focusing on my monk because they get Banfu, which is a super cute little kind of Zewin style cub, but it's got the coloring of the monk class mount. And then um, the Warlock is one of the ones you need for the Hateful Eye. Um, I'm doing that one early because you don't actually need to get the Warlock to 110 to get the pet. You could technically get it at 100. You just need access to the class hall, and then you need to participate in the Ritual of Doom. You can do that once a day, and then you kill a boss with two other Warlocks, and, um, and that thing can drop you the pet. Um, once you hit 105, you can research the thing in your Order Hall that lets you summon it yourself, or at least start it yourself. You still need two other Warlocks to help you. Um, but I've been doing that every day to try and get the pet. And then I need to get my, my monk to 110 so I can start um, her class hall campaign. And also Brewmaster's just been real fun. I have been having more fun um, just slinging a brew around on my Brewmaster than I have on an alt in a long time. And I kind of want to try tanking just a little bit. I know it's a bad idea and I know I don't have time, but it's so... You throw the beer at stuff and then you breathe the fire on the stuff that's got the beer on it. And oh, it's good. As far as actually leveling, um, the only reason that I'm successfully leveling two characters at once is invasion leveling is bonkers. It's great. I really, really, really hope they don't nerf it because it's so good. Um, I love that an invasion will be up and then I go do it. And that takes me like maybe 20 minutes and then I'm done. And then I'm done until the next invasion comes along. So it's not like I constantly feel this pressure of should I be leveling? Should I be doing something else? It's a very easy, if it's up, you go do it and then you're done until the next one. And every single invasion gives you almost a complete level. So you're only gonna need like probably 12 of them, I would say, maybe 13. Um, to get from 100 to 110 and when it only take 20 minutes and you just kind of do them now and then That's only like a week or two weeks of, of just kind of casually pecking at it and then you're done So that's been really good once I finish my monk um, I'm, I'm pretty much done with the warlock now that she's 105. I'm gonna let her rot there I don't feel need to actually play it for a while, but once I'm done with the monk, I'll probably um, Look into the rogue next because rogues get crackers a little parrot um, from their clap from their class campaign in Legion and then uh, and then the death knight thing of course if you are leveling alts uh, waiting till 725 is not a bad call because they are updating heirlooms in 725, but it's no big deal to do it now because invasion leveling, especially if you have flying, so good. Oh my gosh. Questions from this week. Uh, Rotten Hands asked, have you ever considered hosting a community Discord? So I've thought about that. Um, when Twitch, when the Twitch app first came out with their like auto-created community Discord-like situation, I set one of those up and then immediately forgot about it forever. And I don't want to do that with Discord. So I, I like the idea. It's something I want to do eventually. But when I do it, I want to do it with the time um, to manage and moderate it into a useful place to be a part of. And then I also want to make sure that Discord is like good for a while just because it's been having a lot of issues with me. Discord was a perfect piece of software for months and months and months and just in the last like three to four weeks i've been having really weird issues mostly with notifications not showing when i want them to um but just like bizarre discord issues so i need to make sure that that ship isn't sinking and then i need a proper plan and the time to set up a discord community right because i really want to do that correctly when i go do it so the short answer is i have considered it i do want to do it but not yet oh one last thing um i made a couple of changes to my Patreon rewards and goals, all increments. I'm not taking anything away. Let's not get crazy. Um, I have added a $10 tier, um, which gets you an exclusive 
um, cat photo just because I wanted to offer something. And then um, the other thing that $10 and up tiers get is I will name one of my battle pets after either you or your character, whatever name that you'd like for that. So that's been added. And then as far as goals, uh, we're really, really close. I think we're like $15 away from doubling the baking stream. So if we get there before the end of May, then June will have two baking streams. And then after that, um, the next goal after that is equipment upgrades to maybe get a better mic. And then after that, um, I have set a goal to get a post office box for a mail show. Um, people have been requesting a post office box for a while to send in send in mail. And I would love to have one and then do like a regularly recurring show where I open the stuff on a video. The problem with that is that post office boxes are kind of expensive. <laughs> so I set that as a Patreon goal. And then the one after that, um, the highest goal I could think of is a Patreon goal that actually... Uh, guarantees that I go to BlizzCon because for all the past BlizzCons and probably for this upcoming one, I'd really love to go, but I'm just not in the financial situation to make it happen. So I decided Patreon was a great place for that. So those are the new goals and the new uh, rewards. And then as always, we have the battle pet giveaway and the early video access. So that's all not changed. So that has been my week. If you have any questions that you would like answered on the vlog, just leave them as comments on the most recent vlog. Uh, thank you so much for watching and have a wonderful, wonderful day. Bye. Uh, this chance scales literally linear linearly what if you can't get down <laughs> <laughs>